This is a uh, Bosch fridge freezer and it is frost free. So you can see electronic frost free. However, after a few years, like uh, three to five years, even there is a defrost device in the fridge, uh, but there's going to be too much ice inside so that the fan will be blocked. So for any frost free fridge freezer, you're going to have a compressor you're going to have a ventilation fan. And if there are too much ice around the ventilation fan, the fan will be stuck. So if it's stuck, you, the ventilation will stop and uh, your fridge will getting warmer and warmer. Normally, when the fridge freezer is running, you should be able to hear the compressor and the ventilation fan. And when you open the door, the up door, the fridge door. When you open the door, the fan will stop running. When you close the door, the fan will start again, keep running together with the compressor. And if you, when you hear compressor, but you can't hear the fan, more likely the fan is stuck. So you have to do manual uh, defrosting like this. And you can particularly you can open the freezer door and leave it open for hours. To accelerate the ice uh, melting, you can remove the panel. Here I have removed the lower panel. The lower panel, there are two uh, smaller head screw, stainless screw, and there are two holes. So this is the guide for the ventilation to the lower part of your a freezer so it's uh, installed like this so it's installed like this you can see uh, there is a uh, uh, two screw holes over there and also there is the upper upper cover the upper cover is for the evaporator and you have this uh, wash washered uh, kind of a washer bigger head uh, screw for the upper cover I have removed and pull out a, a bit for another view so after about 15 16 hours you should be able to just uh, pull this top cover out so when you install you just push it uh, back into the bottom and when uh, it's uh, melted and you can push it out notice inside there this is the evaporator and this i think is a heater for defrosting when there's some ice this will heat and melt the ice so this is the uh, heater and evaporator i'm going to use two hands to move this cover and have a good view so this is the uh, upper cover i have uh, removed and here you can see so the lower board and this is the heater board i think uh, for defrosting and here's the evaporator and uh, you're going to have uh, fans over there see and that corner is the fan so if there are too much ice the fan will be blocked so we're going to uh, leave this open and uh, wait all the ice uh, melt so you can see here are the wires. I think uh, this is a uh, uh, so electric wires connected to this. So this must be the uh, heater for defrosting, and the upper one is the evaporator for cooling down your fridge freezer. And uh, if you check now, I think if you check, you can see here the fan. The fan, if you rotate, it should be free when there's the no ice. I think uh, it is uh, all right now and now it's about 22 uh, hours after I open the door and let the ice melt and uh, after about uh, two or three hours you can remove this cover but uh, you could not uh, move this cover because there's the ice and all uh, together you can't move them and I only move this after about uh, 15 16 hours i remove this cover here is the real view of a fridge freezer 
you can see this is the condenser uh, coil over here and uh, we have the uh, compressor down here and this is the for catching the water from the fridge and uh, here here is the pipe so this is the pipe is a drain pipe connected inside the fridge we have seen earlier on so the water from the fridge will get into uh, this tray because the compressor when it's working is going to be hot and it will uh, evaporate all this water to your room so compressor and the tray for catching water and the pipe and all other components Uh, another thing you can see here, here the, the, the heater, evaporator, when there's too much ice, this heater uh, will come on and heat up the, the ice, and um, ice uh, amount of water, and flowing over to the bottom parts. You can see there is the protruding side there, and at that end is the drainer. So drainer hole, if you see here, and in here, inside here, and is the draining hole. That's the draining hole. You you have this will get into this will get into there, and it's going to drain to the uh, above the compressor. So this is the the water where the water goes should go. But after that blocked, if there's too much ice, if the draining hole blocked, all the melted water will just flow into your fridge. So that's, you're going to have a trouble very soon. And in normal operation, all the water uh, melted from the evaporator should go in there, outside the fridge to the above the uh, compressor. For the uh, draining, you can see, and that is the hole going together over there, that the hole, and you have the plate going there, uh, over inside there, and this is going there. So below this is going to be the draining hole, and all the water here will just flow to the outside of the fridge. You don't have to remove this uh, to cover. If you wait for longer time, like uh, two days, three days, I think uh, you will do the job. I remove the cover because just uh, I don't want to wait for too long, so I remove the cover. Just uh, two screw for the lower cover and two screw for the upper cover. Uh, you may damage the, the fridge, but I think uh, it should be okay. But uh, if you don't mind, you can just uh, wait for two days, three days, I think everything uh, well, all the ice will, will be melted down and uh, it will be good uh, to go for another few years before it happens again. And during this uh, uh, 20, about 20 hours, if you remove the lower and upper cover, uh, or if you don't want to remove the cover, maybe two days, three days, during this period, you should uh, always try to empty the water here, see the water. The, after the ice melt is going to just uh, drip it down to here and you can't hold too much water here it's going to flow out so you have to use a sponge or something just to uh, uh, empty the water here uh, regularly so next step we we'll just uh, wipe uh, all the water uh, left to reduce the, the water before I install the back again, if you look at the lower size, you can see here, this is just the shape of the of the back cover. So uh, I will then install this back. Another thing you can see here, there's a track. And actually this track. So this track is for the upper cover to go over there. You see there are, there are, there are lag here. And there, there's a lag over here. So it's going uh, this track and that track all push down to the back. And this will be uh, held that way. So I will uh, just uh, clean all the remaining water and put uh, the cover back. I have put this uh, into the position. 
you see the lower part there there the guide leg over there and there the guide leg over there so just to put it into this guide and put them in so I need to use the two hand just to push them fully in uh, before you can have the screw on a uh, little bit of trick here I, I have put them in and the lower heater you just to pull out the the lower heater panel let it align to this uh, end so just to pull it out uh, and uh, against the front and then it's uh, more easily you push this in now it is uh, in the uh, in position you see uh, we have the screw holes so I come to uh, put the uh, screws uh, on there are two screws and here and uh, here now I have put the uh, upper panel on so this is uh, how it's uh, fixed and the next I'm going to put uh, uh, this lower panel on so the lower panel is a guide so this guide side inside and when you see it's a uh, flat outside i'm going to just uh, uh, put it over there so you see that the guide and then we have the uh, two screw holes and i'm going to put the screw on now the lower panel upper panel all put uh, back so we can put back the uh, shelf and the drawers so that the shelf, uh, you should make sure the leg should be uh, into the slot on both occasions. And uh, this is the upper shelf. And after this, we can put the drawer in. So now we have uh, put uh, all the drawers in. So we are ready to uh, plug the fridge and switch it on.